Okay, this is a little video about the parts of a graph. Um, some of them you already know, maybe you don't know them, so hopefully this will be either a review or a lesson. So, either way. So, when you look through here, um, and this, you could also look at a PDF of what I'm talking about too, so you can have this in front of you, but we're looking at a parabola. So, this is a parabola, also called a quad quadratic equation. And the axis of symmetry, you can see where I'm like writing here, the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that divides it into half. That's kind of what symmetry means. It means it's the same thing on either side. So if I was going to identify the axis of symmetry on this particular parabola, the axis of symmetry is a vertical line. Vertical lines start with an X because it kind of looks like a bunch of V's coming together, which is kind of like vertical. And since it's going through at X equals 1, all along that vertical line, the value of X is 1. The value of Y is every single number, infinitely in both directions. So the axis of symmetry in this particular one is X equals 1. The other thing is the X-intercepts. Well, since this is the X-axis, the x-intercept is where it crosses the x-axis. So this is an x-intercept, and this is also an x-intercept. Now, a lot of the ones that I will have you um, doing on homework and things like that will come out as like really nice x-intercepts, which means that they would come out as um, like a whole number. Now, this one has two x-intercepts. They don't all have two x-intercepts. A parabola can actually have no x-intercepts if it looks something like this. It could also have one x-intercept if it looked like this. But this one has two, and so if this was negative one, this little point right here would be a little less than negative one-half. So this would probably be like negative one-fourth. So if I were going to write that as a point, since this is like 0.5, I'm just going to like just estimate that as like negative 0.4. So if I wrote that x-intercept, I would write it as a point because it is a point. It is not a line. So that would be negative 0.40. And then this one looks like that's kind of like a fourth. We can't really see this right here. But like if that's like 0.25, 2.25, this one, I'm just going to estimate, it's fine to estimate, this might be like 2.4. So that x-intercept is going to be 2.40, okay? Because that, again, is also a point. That is not a line. Now, the other um, things that you would need to identify is this little point right here. This is the y-intercept. The reason that it's the y-intercept is because this is the y-axis. So if this is the y-axis, the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So if I were going to write that point, the x value for that point is 0, and the y value for that point is negative 1. So when you're talking about the x-intercept, the y values are 0. When you're talking about the y-intercept, the x values are 0. Then the last little thing on this video is the vertex. The vertex is always located on the axis of symmetry, so it's smack dab in the middle, and it's kind of like, it's, it's called the turning point. So it's the turning point, which means that it, it's going down right here, it gets to this point, and then it starts going back up. <clears throat> now, if you look through the next couple of slides, and this will be also as a PDF. Uh, it gives a really detailed definition of what the vertex is. It also gives the vertex can be a maximum point. It can be a minimum point. So the vertex can open up, which would, this would be considered up. The vertex is opening up. And this is when the vertex is opening down. Both of those. And what this means is this... In this particular picture, the vertex is a maximum point because it's the highest point on that vertex, on that parabola. And this one would be considered a minimum because it is the lowest point on the vertex.
or on the uh, parabola. Uh, this gives a detailed thing about the axis of symmetry. Um, this one determined, talks about the x, the y-intercept, and in this particular one, the y-intercept on this one, the x value is going to be 0, and the y is going to be negative 4. So we would write that as 0, negative 4. Um, this one, these are the x-intercepts. So if this is the x-axis, the x-intercepts, the x value here is negative 2, 0. The y value is 0 because it doesn't go up. And then this little point right here would be 2, 0. So it has two x-intercepts. It would never have two y-intercepts, but it would actually have a y-intercept. Sometimes you might not see it on the, on the graph, but parabolas always have y-intercepts, not necessarily x-intercepts. Um, and then the other ones, it goes through some examples that I will ask you to write these down. And you can look at the picture and then write down the answer that you think. And then you would go to the next slide. The next slide would have the answer on it. If you didn't get the answer correct, then you can click on the video. And when you click on the video, it will explain. It will be me explaining how to do each question. Okay. So this was the end of this one. But as you look through the PDF, there will be little um, hyperlink, hyperlinks so that you can go to the explanations.